Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 4E in the Expression 2 series going over Apply Angular Force. So let's begin by going over the basics and recapping Apply Force. Get rid of all this. I mean, I'm not going to need output in this. Alright, awesome. So first we need our entity. Remember from last time, then we're going to grab a vector. And we're also going to have a set of angles as well in this video. So, what we need first is to grab our entity. So find by model and we're going to assign the entity to the first find result, remember from last video. Instead of using interval command in this, I'm going to use run on tick, which works a lot better, a lot smoother on servers, and uh, this is actually a good way to introduce it to you right now, or a good point to. Um, the run on tick is going to be a lot smoother. It's pretty much equivalent to the interval 10 command. So um, it, it's just better. It's, it varies with server to server. So after we grab our entity, we need to actually apply the vector to it that we're talking about so we can get in a good position. I'm going to set it above the expression 2 plate, so the center point in this case is going to be entity position, which is the expression 2 chip's position, and then we're going to subtract int position, and then our offset vector is going to be 0, 0, 50, making hover 50 Gmod units above the expression 2 chip. Remember our cube from last time had a weight of 8, so we're going to take 8 times 10 to give us 80, and now we're going to apply force. So we apply force, and we're going to use vec plus delta vec times 5. You remember this, this is the stabilization formula, which is going to be used again. You know, you can't escape it, I'm sorry. So we're going to paste that expression to chip and go grab our entity real quick, which is going to be this cube. A clop, copy the clipboard, it's expression 2, find by model, and we'll put it there, and there you have it. Now we have a floating cube, which is very, very uh, stable. So, as you see, the angles are going crazy on this, like it's m moving anywhere I want it to move, which is good. We like things moving where we want. But let's make it do some fancy stuff with expression 2. So we have our entity now, and that's the first step. Um, after that, we're going to need an entity apply angular force. And instead of a vector, like in the apply force version of this command, we're using angle. And for stabilization purposes, just as before, but I'm going to show you without it. Uh, we use the uh, delta angle times 5, but we'll get into that in a second. First, let's define angle which is going to be of one component right now, which is simply the entity's angles. Now, remember the weight is 8, so we're going to multiply times 80. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to show you what it's like without it real quick. So this is what happens. What's going on, because this is really confusing, someone has no idea what's happening. Um, it's going to apply force based on the pitch yaw and roll values of this entity, which is right now is 0, 0, 0, because it's directly facing up. There's no angle at all. It's at origin. However, when I unfreeze it, you see it wobbling. I believe this is the yaw direction, which it's or roll, maybe. Um, you see it wobble more and more and more as time goes on. It's actually not very stable. And why did I spawn it? Anyway, let's go back into Expression 2 chip and see how to fix that. So first off, I'm going to negate the angles. And this is going to make it go crazy at first, but what it's doing is it's applying force in the opposite direction of the angle in which it's already in. So this is a 45 degree angle, which means it's going to apply force in the opposite direction and make it go like this and stabilize until it finally gets to this point where it's right here. So as you can see, since there is 0, 0, 0 again, there's going to be no need to stabilize. We can make the stabilization happen faster by multiplying times the weight times value of 10 in this case, weight being 8, and 80 uh, being the final result. However, it's not completely stabilized. And that's where our fun little formula comes in. Right here, we have the angle plus the delta of the angle times 5, which is just this, the angular version of the vector stabilization and apply force. And once we do that, the angles are now stabilized. So I hope that gives you a very to-the-point description of how this stuff works. I can actually make it um, stabilize at a 45 degree angle 
by adding our own set of angles with a, a pitch yaw and roll value. Our pitch is going to be 0, yaw is going to be 45, and our roll is going to be 0. So let's do that. And now it's tilted at a 45 uh, degree angle in the yaw direction. If I do 45 in the pitch direction, it will look like this. And so on. You get the idea. Now, we can actually set it to look where we ever, I mean, wherever I aim, for example, by putting a custom pitch yaw and roll value here. Oops, this is yaw and roll. And these pitch yaw and roll values are going to be defined by this, uh, let's see, we have entity. And we're going to put elevation, which is the ability to look up and down. And elevation takes a vector. The vector in this case is going to be my aim position. And from my set of aim positions, which is in vector format, it's going to take the elevation from these aim positions and apply it to the pitch coordinate. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing with y'all. So entity, except with elevation, we're going to use bearing, which is ability to look left and right. So from my aim position, we're going to take the bearing out of this and set it to the yaw. Now with roll, we're going to take entity, and we're going to take that set of angles with the angles command, and from that set of angles, I'm going to take just the roll value. And that's going to, oh, also want to negate this, remember that, because we want to apply the opposite force in which the angle is on the objects and now as you can see it's looking anywhere that I aim and as you can guess you can place a turret on this and add a fun little command which I'll, I'll show you in the next video when I get over entities and you can actually fire a turret with this but that cover m covers the basics as you can see it's not really that bad once you know the apply force variant of this you're switching up some values and thinking of it in terms of angles instead of vectors. But uh, next video I'll be getting into entities and whatnot, and I'll catch you guys next time.